Okay. Oh, hi there. Um, yeah, welcome to my um, studio. So um, today I received a unique game console called Seraphim S1. Now, unlike the any other game controller that you connect to your mobile phone, this seems to have a few unique features actually. For example, it has a vertical positioning available. This is something I'm really excited about because as you will know, Samsung Galaxy S20, that Ultra that I have, has a rather tall screen, so I'm sure I'm gonna have plenty of space to play around with, which is quite interesting. It's also compatible with multiple devices and streaming. So the big question will be, would it be able to function on such device like PlayStation 4 or maybe PlayStation 5? I assume if it works on PlayStation 4, work for PlayStation 5, which unfortunately I don't have. Um, also, it seems to have this really unique one actually, automatic tapping over 20 times per second. Now we all know that if you play classic arcade games, which I love to play still, uh, this feature is really essential and it doesn't hurt my thumb anymore. So that's going to be really exciting. So, okay, well, there's, I'm sure there's other features that you're curious about, but let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. Nice. So we got the protective sponge we, we could put away. What's this? So that's the main game console. Ah, we got the unique USB um, plug in. So the rest is this is the standard. Um, is this the USB C control um, plug? Nope. Oh, what's this now? I'm not sure about this one. Maybe it looks like a platform that you put somewhere to charge and this is just purely the uh, standard USB charging cable, isn't it? So to start with, it comes with this um, rubbery seal, which is really nice, actually well thought of. A nice feel of, yeah, and the button, a bit of a click sound, which is very nice. Very nicely built, actually. I like that. Sounds good. And I noticed this is for the vertical place very likely i think where you just put it like this and then you can play the game which is quite cool actually isn't it um yeah okay so there's the seraphim play which i need to download and install let's have a look all right let's open it up okay so all registered south from s series s1 isn't it and choose all oh, right i could actually can i actually play some games um super mario i could download and play the games as well this is amazing um but before that i gotta make this connections anyway so you can see there's the power button there and also the plug for the charging so that's quite neatly done so let's turn on the power so is there an indication that, oh, there's the blinking lights there. So let's see if the Bluetooth connection can actually detect that. Oh, here it goes, the Seraphim on it. Let's get connected. Pairing, successfully connected. So it's all connected, let's play. Now, this is an interesting one. I have to take off the silicon cover and also my phone case, uh, which is a slim one, by the way, from Samsung, official Samsung, to be able to fit into uh, this game console. This is the limit of what I can expand. And what was happening here, people, is that this rubber bit here is trying to push it out. So, oh gosh. So basically what I'm trying to get at is it's not ideal, unfortunately, for Galaxy S20 Ultra. You'll see that this camera here is actually pushing it out as well. So the shape is not really um, well overall it's not ideal unless you're going to place and play it on the you know the vertical way which means i have to put back the silicon cover and also the phone case to be able to fit so a bit of a letdown here people so the way how it works is you can see the icon on here and you click on it 
And basically, um, if you press that button, then you just need to direct to the actual screen there and press and then press there. This is pretty straightforward actually. Um, and then joystick, you just need to put it there. Um, you see where I'm getting at? So the Y actually goes there and X goes there. And all you need to do is just press save with a name on it. So let's call it LJP Tech. Cool. So this is one of my favorite game, I guess. Let's see how it works. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the joystick seems to be working fine. That's great. I love this game. It's much better than just pressing onto your screen, isn't it? Like just other joysticks. So I guess the alternative is to actually uh, separate the Seraphim uh, game console from your mobile phone and then play it like a separate screen or something like this. Or you could actually play it in the um, vertical way, which um, I, well, it's quite cool actually this way as well. All right, so if you want to connect to your PlayStation, uh, all you need to do is you make sure you turn off your phone Bluetooth connection. So you disconnect between these two devices. So now it's disconnected from my phone. Um, what you need to do is go to devices, Bluetooth devices, and while this is still on. So you can see the Seraphim on this one. So let's get connected. Yes. Ah, so Players 4 doesn't support this Bluetooth device. That's very interesting. Um, let's see if the USB itself would actually resolve this issue. Is that doing anything? Nope. So I really don't know what this is doing actually. So unfortunately on the instruction it says the Seraphim dongle is required while connecting to PC and Switch. So I don't think it's compatible with my PlayStation uh, 4 or many, any of the PlayStation dev devices. So that's a bit of a bugger. So I'm just going to plug in this dongle to my computer and see what it says. Okay, so it's setting up the device for Pro Controller. Well done. This seems to be working somehow. Okay, device is ready. So what does this do? All right, so I tried a few things here and there, but the uh, it's not working. Well, especially um, what I mean by that is if you go to the settings uh, the, on the controls, um, for some reason, the key input in all the controls seems to be um, only available for mouse. And um, actually, so it, I think it's only con controllable through your keyboard and your mouse, but not on the Seraphim uh, controller, unfortunately. So in other words, I think um, it's only compatible with certain games. I mean, it says Google Stadia here and Epic Games and Battle.net and Streams. But then again, um, I think it's just certain games that is allowed. So it's not as flexible I thought it would be. But then again, it, I thought pretty much any joystick will be compatible with many games. So, I mean, this is connected with a USB. So I'm very confused here. So people, someone needs to tell me um, rather complicated matter uh, for this connectivity issue at the moment. All right, so I'm on the Google Stadia at the moment as well, still connected to my PC, which I'm logging to the Stadia website, but uh, I'm not really sure. I mean, it does say that um, Stadia controller, you can actually connect with a PlayStation controller, Xbox and keyboard and mouse and others and etc. Right, so no difference whatsoever with the control um so all right on the stadia website you can connect the controller and other and then more about support controller there isn't anything on the list that relates to uh the seraphim uh, s1 so i think they might have to do the uh update or maybe this is an early prototype uh, that just been released so that there are many functions that is currently not available at the moment. So that's a bit of a letdown. 
I mean, the overall quality is fine. It's good. Um, I like it. It feels really professional. The packages is all right as well. But overall, the big letdown is the fact that my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra on the landscape mode, it won't fit. Uh, I have to take out the silicone case around it and also my phone case to just be able to fit. But then again, another obstacle is the fact that the way how the camera sticks out on the back, that's actually pushing it so that the shape becomes like this. So it's not ideal for a long play. So I would recommend if you have a Galaxy 20 Ultra, you have to look into an option where you either separate your controller with your uh, phone, uh, which is not ideal, or put, place it in a vertical way and then play it a uh, portrait mode. So that's what that's on the phone side. On the software side of PlayStation 4 and also my PC compatibility on the instructions, it's not really that clear the way how you could set up. Maybe I'm not really a computer junkie to be able to figure out myself, but uh, the compatibility level, there's a question about the compatibility level. I thought once you plug into your USB, then it's straight on and it lets you play with any games that is joystick related, but I couldn't find any options on the PUBG. Maybe it's the PUBG way how they program it, but there's a bit of a compatibility issue going on here. Obviously the PUBG, I could play it with my controller through my phone that is, but um, there are things that sounded promising that is not practical at this stage. So what I would like to recommend for the uh, Seraphim uh, team is I think you got to look into uh, upgrading the software compatibility side or maybe uh, teach guy like me who are not really good at PC if I get it wrong. Um, I would understand this to be because it's an early stage of development. This is a Kickstarter project. So most uh, public won't actually have this product. So maybe because I'm an early purchaser um, it, it's not a good uh, way to present the product on this stage but just want to give you guys a heads up if you are considering buying one in an early stage there will be certainly something that you have to consider um, watch this video and see how it goes before you um, buy this brilliant product actually I, I like it I like I like the quality of it um, but there needs to be improvement in certain ways, the way how I just demonstrate on this video. Well, especially if you, if the team at Seraphim is not happy the way I present it, please do let me know. I'll reach out to you first and um, I would like to hear your feedback as well on my video. But overall, if you have any questions, if you want me to try out about this new uh, product, then um, please do comment below and I'll try to come back to you as soon as possible. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LTP Tech. Have a lovely day. All the best. Bye-bye.